Have you ever seen a McDonald's shaped like a UFO? What about a fancy one inside a gorgeous, multi-million dollar mansion? Or one that's so big, it's literally five times the size of an average McDonald's. Yeah, so apparently there's a ton of these cool and unique McDonald's all over America, and I want to visit them. Why, you ask? Well, it's pretty simple. I want to know which of these McDonald's is the coolest McDonald's ever. And the journey begins in Roswell, New Mexico. Behind me is the coolest McDonald's I've seen in my entire life. To be honest, I'm really excited to go inside this McDonald's, but I'm also a little nervous. Roswell, New Mexico is known as the alien capital of the world due to an apparent UFO crash in 1947. And according to my sources, the UFO McDonald's is only a few miles away from the crash site. What if there are real aliens inside the UFO? That could be a possibility. Maybe they're in the truck. <laughs> I made my way over to the giant UFO. This thing looks even crazier up close. There's also a bunch of these little alien statues out front, which did not help my nerves. So far, so good. I don't think anyone's an alien. Anyways, the inside of this McDonald's was pretty awesome. There were cool alien decorations all over the place, and it turns out the UFO is actually a separate dining area, and it's where the play place is. I made my way over to the kiosk to order some food. One 20-piece chicken McNugget meal, barbecue sauce, and an Oreo McFlurry. Then I walked over to the UFO, and y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, it's so cool in here. So one of the things I really like about this place is it actually feels like you're in a UFO. I mean, look at where I'm sitting. It's like a metal plated wall. Everything about this place is space themed. You got Space Grimace, this pink thing inside a McFlurry rocket, and even an astronaut Ronald McDonald. That one's a little creepy. Anyways, let's see if the food at the UFO McDonald's is out of this world. That was a horrible pun. I, I don't know why I said that. Looks pretty good. These chicken nuggets are hitting. Time for the McFlurry. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's the bomb. That's so good. I haven't had a McFlurry since I was like five. I finished my meal and looked around the building some more. Took a picture with this cool alien statue and even bought something from the gift shop. Awesome, thank you so much, appreciate it. I got a souvenir. <laughs> Goodbye, UFO McDonald's. It's been fun. So I'm now in a new Hyde Park, New York at the McMansion. Y'all, this place is dubbed the world's fanciest McDonald's and with good reason. I mean, look at it. This building is massive and gorgeous. This McDonald's is also known as the Denton House. It dates back to 1795 and was originally a farmhouse for a man named Joseph Denton. I couldn't find a picture of him, my bad. It was then converted into a mansion in the 1860s and finally became a McDonald's in 1991. The UFO McDonald's was like unique and wacky, but this is on like another level. You're telling me I have to go in there and order chicken McNuggets? What? Anyways, it is very cold in New York. Oh, thanks. Was that for me? I don't know. It's cold. I'm going to go inside. I'm very chilly. <sighs> Got to cross the street. 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 Obviously, the outside is beautiful, but I don't even know what to expect inside. Oh, fancy door. Real fancy door. Whoa. <laughs> this place is cool. What the heck? Okay, so right when you walk in, there's a giant grand staircase leading up to the second floor. The ceiling also had exposed wooden trusses, which I thought were very pretty. I understand why it's called the McMansion. It literally feels like I'm inside someone's house. A very rich person's house. That's also not the only fancy thing about it. There were fancy lights, fancy windows, fancy plants, even the trash cans were fancy. It's a nice trash can. I was slightly intimidated by all of the fanciness here, but I have high expectations for the food now. Uh, can I get a 20 piece uh, chicken McNugget meal? And then uh, instead of the drink, uh, can I get an Oreo McFlurry? Uh, it's not working machine, but we are, we are waiting. Oh, the machine's broken? Are you serious right now, McDonald's? You have fancy trash cans, but a broken ice cream machine? That doesn't even make sense. Anyways. Okay, so I placed my order and got my drink, but the thing is, I have no idea where to sit. So it was actually pretty empty in here, one of the most surprising things was that there were literally no kids inside the building. Like, at all. Just fancy looking old people. I made my way over to one of the many empty tables. I don't know how to explain this, but I feel very uncomfortable in this McDonald's. I feel like I have to whisper while I'm here. I don't know if that's just me, though. It's kind of quiet. I'm gonna eat my food. 
Hopefully the chicken nuggets are good. Yeah, so I literally ate my food in silence while trying not to pay attention to the old people staring at me. So I'm just gonna go right out and say it. I am not having that much fun at this McDonald's. I'm gonna be honest, guys. This McDonald's? Not that cool. But don't you worry. The journey to find... The coolest McDonald's ever. ...continues. Goodbye, world's fanciest McDonald's. You are pretty to look at, but... ...very weird. So this next McDonald's is in Orlando, Florida. How's it going? Just going to McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah, the really big one. This one's literally right next to Disney World, so it should be pretty cool. I'm very excited to check out this McDonald's. <laughs> also, my Uber driver, Gerardo, really hyped it up. Yeah, I mean, you have to. Yeah. They sell. Wow, okay. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Whoa, yeah, that's, that's yeah, a, that's a that's it, that is a big one. This is crazy. All right, thank you, man. Appreciate it. You're welcome, man. Have a good one. Good. All right, y'all. Behind me is the world's largest entertainment McDonald's. That's that's literally what it's called. The world's largest. And I get it. It's it's humongous. This giant McDonald's is the craziest one yet. Inside, there's a 22-foot-tall play area, an arcade with over 100 games, and it's the only McDonald's in the world that sells the McPasta and the McPizza. So there are three things I want to do while I'm at this McDonald's. One, I want to try a McPizza. Two, I got to win some arcade games. And three, I want to go down the slide. I actually don't know if I'm allowed to do that since I'm an adult, but I'm going to do my best. Let's go inside. Maybe this is me getting like way too in over my head, but I'm very excited for this McDonald's. I have the biggest expectations. Holy cow, this place is massive. Whoa. All right, y'all, this McDonald's is crazy. There's three different areas for different food. There's a cafe, the regular McDonald's ordering area, and a pizza restaurant? Y'all, those are wood-fired pizza ovens inside a McDonald's. You can see the, the fire. This place is nuts. I don't even know where to go. This place has an aquarium. There's legit fishes in here, what? What are these fishes doing in a McDonald's? He's kind of the color of the McDonald's logo. A little bit. All right, before I check out the other floors, I got to order. I got the usual chicken McNuggets and an Oreo McFlurry. And of course, I had to order the McPasta and the McPizza. I can't believe I'm spending $64 at McDonald's. This McDonald's has an elevator to the second floor. This is crazy. Okay, I don't even know what to expect. What do we got here? Another dining area, and whoa, oh my god. Okay, so the play area, massive. The arcade, very cool. So I really wanna check out the arcade, but first I'm gonna sit down and like eat. Y'all, this place is the exact opposite from the McMansion. Like straight up the exact opposite. The McMansion was dull, gray, and quiet. This McDonald's was very lively, very colorful, and definitely not quiet. <laughs> cool, thank you. Thank you so much. Whoa, that, that's a lot. Um, I may have ordered way too much food. Here we go. That's a chicken nugget. All right, pasta check. So I just want to point out, the pasta looks good. Like this has like some nice plating to it too. Is this really McDonald's? I ordered the fun tortellinis. It's colorful. Here we go. That's a lot better than I expected. <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, this actually might be better than Olive Garden. <laughs> now it's time to try the McPizza. At first glance, the crust looked a little off. It seems like the McPizza might be a major disappointment. Time to complete the first task at this McDonald's. So I don't know if I'm just sick and tired of eating chicken nuggets for the past like 48 hours, but this pizza hits. I'm gonna box basically all of this up because I ordered way too much food. There is still one thing I have not tried yet. The Oreo McFlurry. Oh, that's good. I'm now full and ready for the arcade. Y'all, I want to play some games, so I need to go get a game card. Luckily for me, the game machine is right here. Who spends $120 here? Oh my god. Update. I, I spent $120. Honestly, I don't remember the last time I was in an arcade, but uh, <laughs> this is pretty cool. How do I scan this? Am I too old for this? 
Swipe card. I started off by playing skee ball for a few minutes. Um, I was pretty bad at it. Oh, I'm trash. Then I found this motorcycle racing game. Oh, there we go. I'm flying now. What's happening? I was actually pretty good at this one. No one would believe me if I did not get this on camera. I got first place. Played a couple other games. Oh. Then I tried to win this cute burrito from a claw machine. No! I did not get the burrito. <clears throat> With the first two tasks complete, there's only one thing left. The infamous big yellow slide. There was a big yellow slide. I'm not gonna lie, I really wanna go down it, but I'm too old for this. There is no way I can go down that slide. But I really want to. But I can't. Or can I? Update, we're going down the slide. Guys, this is Randy. No, the window no tinting guy, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Uh, we're going into the play area. Okay, so I totally didn't expect this to happen. I was about to leave until Randy saw me filming and asked if I wanted to go down the slide with him and his daughter. How you, how you holding up, Randy? Yeah, I'm good. All right, <laughs> your daughter found the slide. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I'm scared. Hey, Randy. Hey, I'm going behind. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, oh, this I'm is. Facing down. I'm scared. Oh, oh, we're going down the slide. Ooh. Okay, I know that looked painful, but I swear it was fun. Literally the most fun I've had in a while. Shout out Randy. This guy's so cool. Thank you for the adventure, Randy. Thank you. That was exhilarating. I made my way down the elevator towards the exit. That place is crazy. All right, I'm now in Chicago. And behind me is the McDonald's headquarters. Oh, a cute dog. I got distracted. So this McDonald's inside the headquarters is the fast food franchise's only global menu restaurant. Here, you can order unique food items found at McDonald's all around the globe. I'm very excited to see what countries I can order McDonald's food from. Dude, this is crazy. All right, so before I order, initial thoughts. First up, it is very clean in here. Very modern. Second, everyone working here is dressed pretty fancy. There's literally people wearing suits in the kitchen. Suits at a McDonald's? What? I'm gonna go order now. I just wanted to point that out. All right, so obviously we have to do our usual. First things first, Oreo McFlurry. Gonna get a six piece chicken nugget. Time to see what's on the international menu. Now since McDonald's operates in over 118 countries, the global menu rotates every three months to highlight different locations. Oh my God, there's so much stuff. I'm overwhelmed. This time, I was able to order from the McDonald's in England, Japan, and Korea. Transaction approved. Got my receipt. So I'm at my seat, table number seven. And y'all, this McDonald's is so nice. Hello, I ordered a lot. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. Look at this haul, oh my God. Ooh, this is gonna be a good chicken nugget. I can already tell. Ooh, those gotta be the best nuggets I've had. To be honest, this is probably my only chance to try McDonald's from a bunch of different countries at the same time. So I kind of want to rank all of the different items that I ordered. Let's see which country has the best food. Oh, dude, this is a monster. What? How am I supposed to eat this? That's a heavy burger. This is the Ebi filet, which is a shrimp filet. So instead of like the fish filet, shrimp filet. Honestly, it looks pretty crispy. Not a fan of the lettuce work, but it looks like it'll be good. Mmm. Yo, I can't stop eating this one. This one's real good. Dude, look at the inside of this. That looks so good. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, that is so good. So I've come to the conclusion, even though McDonald's started in America, every other country has a better menu than the American one. Now out of all of the McDonald's countries I did try food from, the winner has to be Korea. Please bring this McFlurry to the States. Honestly, I was surprised. This McDonald's is pretty cool, but now it's on to the next spot. All right. It's time for a very 
long road trip. All right, let's roll. So this next McDonald's I'm going to should be very, very cool. I don't know how much fun I'm gonna have at it because it's technically drive-through only, but from the pictures, it looks very, very exciting. It's also the only one of its kind, so I don't even know what to expect out of this. Where is it, where is it? Oh, I see a McDonald's logo, and oh my God, there it is. Yo, I can't believe it, I'm here in person, that's crazy. Cosmics, the newest McDonald's building. Okay, I know what you're thinking. That spot's not a real McDonald's. Look, it's owned by McDonald's, so I'm gonna count it. Also, the Cosmics mascot was literally an official McDonald's character in the 1980s, until he mysteriously disappeared. Maybe I missed him while I was in the UFO. All right, so I'm in the drive-thru. It's time to place my order. I haven't looked at the menu at all, so I don't even know what they have. Y'all, there are so many things on the menu. I am so overwhelmed. Oh my God. So according to the Cosmics website, their menu is supposed to be otherworldly and it's designed to boost your mood into the stratosphere. I don't even know what that means, but I'm excited about it. They got boba, I love boba. I ordered a bunch of different things since there was a ton on the menu. Okay, anything else? And then um, this is like a weird request, but can you just surprise me with like a really fun last item? Do you want it drink-wise or food-wise? Let's do a drink, like a fun drink. Okay, I'm gonna make this one hurt then. You're gonna make it hurt? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make it hurt. You said surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Y'all, it's my time. Order ready, pull up to the window, let's go! I'm so glad there's not a line. I heard there was gonna be like a four hour wait. Th is this one the fun drink? Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> Don't be scared, I you promise you'll like it. You promise? Yes, I promise. Okay, thank you so day, much. Okay? Thank you, you too, appreciate it. He laughed so loudly. <laughs> what? All right, everyone. I am now parked and I'm very excited. So first up, we have the S'mores A Cold Brew. Apparently Cosmics was created to kind of compete with Starbucks and I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I also got some Starbucks this morning. It's pretty mid. Look at that. Boom. Give it a little shaky shake. Oh, oh my God, that's good. Oh, that's pretty nice. I like that. Next up, these are the hash brown bites. My first initial critique, there's not that many in there, but it's fine. I ordered a lot of things, so. <laughs> Ooh. If there was McDonald's heaven, I'm in it. <laughs> that was good, that was real good. Next up, Oreo McFlurry. Here we go. Oh my God. Honestly, Oreo McFlurries are the one thing from McDonald's that brings me right back to my childhood. I used to get these all the time. Mm. Now that I've tried all of the things that I personally ordered, there's only one more item left, the fun drink. This is crazy looking. Cosmics, what did you what did you make? I don't even know what to expect out of this. I think there's like popping boba at the bottom. There's a lemon. Um, and it's like this radioactive red color. I'm a little nervous for this one. Let's see how it goes. Oh! <laughs> that's sour! The boba's popping in your mouth though, so that's fun. <laughs> All right, everyone. Now that I have officially been to all of America's most unique McDonald's, it's time to crown a winner. So I'm back home now, and after a thorough review of all of the footage I got and all of the McDonald's, I've decided the coolest McDonald's in all of the land is the one with the big slide. Oh! Oh! Ow, I got a wedgie! 